Professor Buzzkill. Mini. Hello, hello, it's the old professor here. You know how we are about quotes, Buzzkillers. The vast majority of the famous quotes and quips from historical figures have no basis in evidence. Most of them come from hearsay or actually said by other people. Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France at the time of the Revolution, is the victim of such a misattributed quote. In fact, it's the most famous thing about her. The story is that she cared very, very little for the welfare of the common people. When she was told, just before the revolution in 1798, that the poor had no bread, she replied, then let them eat cake. It's gone down in history as one of the great examples of royal coldness and indifference. The problem is, and you know what I'm going to say, buzzkillers, she didn't say it. Granted, Marie spent money lavishly while the majority of the French population were suffering through hard times, and although she was highly criticized for it at the time, there's no evidence that she was callous enough to say something like, let them eat cake. So where do we get this story? We get it from Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the famous French philosopher. 1767, he wrote of an incident from roughly 25 years before, which was the early 1740s, more than 10 years before Marie Antoinette was born. In this story, a, quote, great princess, whom we did not name, had a kind of stopgap solution when she was told that the peasants had no bread. She responded, again, according to this story, let them eat brioche. Brioche, for you buzzkillers who haven't had it, is a sort of pastry-like bread, richly made, lots of eggs, lots of butter, It's delicious. It's considered a delicacy. Now, Rousseau's story took place more than a decade before Marie Antoinette was born, and he wrote it down when she was an 11-year-old child in Austria. She hadn't been married to the French king yet. She wasn't the queen of France yet. But somehow the story got tied to her, and she's been the symbol of aristocratic arrogance and indifference ever, ever since. The fact that she didn't say it didn't save her from the guillotine, however, buzzkillers. She was executed by revolutionaries on the 16th of October, 1793, and it's not known what her last meal was. Talk to you next week. Adios. Adios.